Five years ago in Lila district, tuberculosis patients were received and attended to under this tree within Lira Referral Hospital compound. Those confirmed to have the disease had to trek about 70 kilometers to Ketgum Hospital, the only TB treatment center in northern Uganda at the time. Suffering from TB in this area, like many parts of Uganda at the time, was like a death sentence. Patients were stigmatized, isolated, drugs were expensive, and adherence was not observed, leading to many deaths. We, we didn't have much to do for them. As an individual, as a, a specialist doctor, I can tell you, uh, some of them I would put them on treatment, but this treatment they would buy of their own. Uh, and also, you know, you couldn't even monitor these patients and you couldn't even follow up what happens with them. And uh, some of them end up with the toxicity of drugs. So it was really a mess. There was no any clear way how these patients were being managed. After various interventions and a track TB project, Lira Hospital is now the second biggest treatment center for multi-drug resistant TB in the whole country. Track TB was a five-year project funded by PEPFAR and USAID, implemented by Management Science for Health and its partners AIDS Information Center and University of California at San Francisco Curry International Tuberculosis Center. The mandate of this project was to increase TB case detection rates and treatment success rates in focus areas to meet the national targets uh, for reducing the burden of TB, MDR TB, and TB HIV. This project was set up specifically to achieve four key result areas, enhanced leadership and technical capacity at the national TB program uh, for effective TB control and management, implementation, and of an effective urban TB DOTS program in Kampala. Thirdly, implementation of a high quality MDR TB program. And lastly, improved coordination and implementation of TB, TB HIV, and MDR TB among implementation partners in this country together with the national TB program. Under the Track TB project, Management of TB in Lira Hospital was moved from under the tree to these new structures, which include offices and waiting area. Admitted patients are cared for in segregated wards, including a special area for extremely drug-resistant TB patients. Track TB seconded and trained four staff in management, MDR treatment, care, and patient follow-up. Increased staffing and knowledge got from these trainings has enabled this staff to provide quality TB care. We got more knowledge to go down in the villages. We even mentored lower health facilities. We've tracked these patients, that's why you see our numbers are increasing. Maybe if they were not tracked, they would be there reinfecting other people. Lira Hospital, which was previously referring patients, now has 177 enrolled TB patients and 77 of these are in care. A doctor has been attached to the unit thanks to the collaboration between Track TB and Sustain. This has ensured access to specialized care and treatment for the patients. I help to manage these clients as in ensure they are timely initiated on art they are timely initiated on their septrin, and now we are concentrating on the third 90, where we want 90% of our patients, whether TB infected or not TB infected, we want 90% of our clients virally suppressed. We can only achieve that if we ensure that the patients we have in care access a viral load test. Agnes and her two children have been undergoing treatment for MDR-TB for the past five months. Being able to stay at the facility where they are given food has ensured that their care and treatment is closely monitored 
giving them a very high chance of getting cured. Some of the patients who successfully complete their treatment are used as peer supporters to share their experiences and encourage other patients to adhere to drugs and positive living. Serafina Akello is one of the pioneer MDR clients of the unit. When she completed her treatment in 2014 and got completely cured of TB, she volunteered to help educate patients. Here, she is educating members of her community about TB prevention and fighting stigma. <laughs> And the multi-drug resistant tuberculosis management, Track TB implemented a mixed model of care that involves brief periods of hospitalization followed by a long period of clinic-based care at a nearby facility for directly observed treatment. The MDR minimum package included strengthening healthcare provider skills, improved access to patient treatment monitoring, psychosocial support to patients, availability of TB commodities, and strengthening TB infection control. Sorati Rafara Hospital is one of the six MDR TB hospitals to have directly benefited from the project. A new unit was put up and the unit equipped. It is now providing specialized services like audiometry, which has been instrumental in early detection of hearing loss, a side effect of TB drugs. We have uh, provided all sites with audiometers. We've had patients that have got deafness. And this is something that any health worker wouldn't want to see in their patient. So what the project did, we bought audiometers, trained people, and then they have been carrying out what we call audiometry on a monthly basis for all patients that are receiving injections. So that those who are beginning to deteriorate in their hearing abilities are picked up easy and we give them alternative medicines. Other facilities supported with infrastructure development are Hoima and Barara that saw refurbishment of dilapidated buildings into conducive new structures. Under the project, several units are being supported as regional hubs for effective and efficient diagnosis and treatment of TB. Chiegegua Health Center 4, despite having this big lab, could only carry out sputum tests using microscopy and other investigations were referred. Now the lab has been fully equipped and is serving 15 other health facilities within the district. Uh, before we would in a month enroll like two to three and these could be basically adults. But now we are finding that our numbers are overwhelming because in a month now we can enroll over seven to 20 in a month because of gene expert. Just at this facility, but now with the samples that come from outside in the whole district, we are now enrolling over 30 to 40 in a month. And that one has caused what used not to happen. Because what used to happen was that because of the low enrollment, low detection, we had low enrollment, we had massive expiries of anti-TBs. But now instead of expiries, we are having short stockouts. So it changes the trend. But the turnaround time for our results of gene expert is now one day. 
Two hub riders are used to carry samples from the lower facilities to the hub and after they take back the results. In case of a positive result, this is given out immediately using a phone call. I pick samples from lower facilities like Kakawara, Kazinga, Bujubuli and more. Mulago National Referral Hospital TB Clinic was massively supported under the Track TB project to cope with the increased number of MDR patients in urban areas and referrals from upcountry. More health workers were seconded to the unit and trained. Before Track TB came, the trainings were not there. So when they came, they were interested in those trainings because they wanted to to make sure the nurses outside there, where the patients go, at least knew something about the drugs which we are going to use, especially that multidrug resistant TB. They brought us some BP blood pressure machines to measure the patient's blood pressure. They brought us machines for testing sugar and then weighing scales which were not there because the treatment is given according to the weight of the patients. In all MDR facilities like in Mulago, MDR-TB outpatients have a reason to smile because besides access to free treatment, they each get cooking oil, maize flour, sugar and beans every month which has promoted their nutritional needs and their general health. I was blessed to come to Mulago. I think if it was not to Mulago, I would have put Jeremiah in past. But because of Mulago, I'm still having hope in Jeremiah because he's still alive and he's healthy. I just thank God for them, for their support in my child's life. Because until now, they are giving us food. They're supporting us. As a national referral hospital, Mulago was supported with four gene expert machines while others got one. The gene expert machines have significantly boosted TB diagnosis in Uganda. Ever since we acquired these uh, multi-million machines you see right here, averagely in a day we run close to, close to 25 samples, which is very nice because uh, the turnaround time has been minimized. Secondly, uh, we, are, we are testing so many people at the same time. So things have become so easy for us. Diagnosis and treatment of TB among children has been a big challenge in Uganda, but Track TB has now made it possible to provide pediatric TB care in all the supported facilities. Mulago Pediatric TB Unit alone cares for 30 children a week. Pediatric TB services offered include directly observed treatment. For those who cannot cough out on their own, sometimes we do what we call sputum induction. We induce sputum from them. Others we do gastric lavage. We do what we call a gastric, a lav a gastric washout. We wash out the things from the stomach to try and get that sputum and send it for gene expert so that we can get a, a diagnosis of TB. Now, there are those whom they may come with the extra pulmonary kind of TB where you don't get it from the sputum, but you just get maybe they have swellings on the lymph node or maybe they have TB of the brain. And then when they do a CT scan, it shows maybe that the child, or they do a lumbar puncture, they shows that the child has what? A TB when they take it for a test. The biggest success that I can be able to say that we have put out is one, we have made childhood TB visible. If you go in any facility and ask them about childhood TB, they will tell you they know about it. We have been able to make sure that every single facility, at least in Kampala, most of the public ones, they have the diagnosis algorithms and they have the minimum tools that are required to make a diagnosis. This was not there before. If they were there, these document, these, most of these documents were either small pieces of paper on tables, in books, but now they are quite in many places. And then the other very big uh, success that I can call a success is the confidence that the health workers have developed in diagnosing TB. 
to improve data generation, flow, dissemination and quality, TrackTB championed the development of the Uganda DRTB Management Information System, a web-based platform that allows data access from anywhere. In the past, we used to report uh, using paper-based reporting. And there were challenges with the, 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 words, the quality of reporting as far as completeness and timeliness is concerned. But uh, part of the pool supported us as TrackTB in helping us turn this into electronic reporting by getting us a server, some things we can use, set up our own database here in, uh, in the TB control program. They also helped us with the MDR reporting. The reporting before was mainly using a phone. You would call a site and say, how many patients do you have? How many have you enrolled? How many are on this stage? But now when they came in with the, what, what they call the DR uh, MI system, it is helping us to report real-time information as far as uh, patient management is concerned and also patient monitoring. So we can know what's happening to the patient, the individual patients, uh, through the 24 months when they're under treatment. Under the Urban Directly Observed Treatment, DOTS, TrackTB supported Kampala Capital City Authority to implement a customized urban DOTS model to combat TB. DOTS is a, a WHO strategy, World Health Organization strategy, for tuberculosis control that was developed over 20 years back. Uh, the aim was to, to kind of guide implementation of, uh, implementation of TB control activities in the world to ensure uh, effective um, uh, control or uh, effective care and the prevention of TB in order to reduce its spread. So that is in, that in the simple terms I can, I can call it that way. But if you add urban and then dots, that means we are talking about TB control in the urban settings or TB care and prevention in urban dots. The Urban Directly Observed Treatment Model is a framework of a harmonized approach that involved implementation of comprehensive TB control interventions that included the following. Strengthening provider skills, improvement of community awareness, use of community facilitators for referral and linkages, and use of a continuous quality model. Under the project, TrackTB supported the setting up of the Kampala City Tuberculosis Task Force, which coordinated, monitored, and strengthened TB interventions in KCCA. One of the things that came out of it was how do we improve DOTS coverage in Kampala. And, that's, and we got from the, from the urban DOTS model, which with the help of TrackTB they had actually uh, developed. And that urban DOTS model primarily was how can you make sure that we can improve on the low DOTS coverage. Six years ago, our, our DOTS coverage among newly diagnosed TB patients was 6%. Now we are at 96%. What does that mean? That means that the, dot, the dots, urban DOTS model really worked. To achieve increased diagnosis and treatment success rate, staff in health facilities within KCCA, like Namungona Health Centre 3 in Kawempe Division, have been supported to provide quality improvement in every unit. TrackTB supported quality improvement in development of various QI tools to track and monitor performance. QI means quality improvement in whatever you are doing. If you are screening the patients, monitoring the patients, giving drugs to the patient, infection control and completion of drugs, community contact tracing at home, each and everything concerning TB. Quality improvement also involves the mentor-mentee model, like this session at Chitevi Health Center 3. Track TB trained me in quality improvement. After training me, we started the, going to other facilities. We mentored them on quality improvement. It has really helped us to improve on our day-to-day -day work and even improving on the patient's care. As a result of this quality improvement under Track TB, patient health worker relationships have greatly improved, leading to increased treatment success rate. 
Murusa was all now back with a mammy, sir. Pagala go get a side moon. Or you tell Jendi. I didn't bear and gay. Sabbath for Namu was evil. Nez a care of Jibampe stay. The Noah Banning are what the Mugamba gained the stay. Walk back gate, pack and basso. We am be way one of the most effective interventions in increasing TB case detection and treatment success has been the use of trained community linkage facilitators. These have played a critical role in contact tracing within communities and linking those suspected to be sick to care. Mary Goretti has been a linkage facilitator for the past five years. During this time, she has been able to identify several children and adults having TB and referred them to care. Once a patient comes in the facility and when the patient is entered into our register, we have to get all the details about that patient, whether the patient, where the patient stays, um, is that patient having a, a treatment supporter, do they have a telephone number, so when I'm there, what I do, you get, you, when they are entered in the register immediately, I also get them into my records. Track TB supported KCCA to involve private health facilities in management of TB in the city. Gaba Family Matters Clinic is one of the facilities that have been supported to provide TB services. People from the landing site can now easily access TB care and treatment. Track TB, before it came in, we didn't have a service of tuberculosis. We are treating just outpatients. Currently, by the time we started this track TB up to now, we have managed to suspect 300 people, patients, suspect. And out of 300 suspects, we have treated 60. Health facilities have also been supported to ensure directly observed treatment to promote adherence. This has been achieved through admitting patients for a number of months and attaching them to lower level facilities near them where they go daily to take their drugs. Under this result area, the project supported the installation of 29 gene expert machines and power backup machines to support TB diagnosis and treatment. USID Track TB project has supported the program in the procurement of 29 gene expert machines and uh, cartridges. Uh, they also supported procurement of uh, accessories like power backup systems and printers. Along this line, uh, they went ahead and supported installations of machines and training of health workers. So this there are improved, greatly improved access to rapid TB diagnostic services in these 29 facilities, which were taking a week to get gene expert results, and now they could be able to get these results within two hours. The success of these interventions was largely because of support to National Tuberculosis and Leprosy Program, which included increasing staff from 3 to 42 and tailored capacity building trainings. Track TB supported the area of uh, human resource. They are able to second some full and part-time personnel to beef up the limited personnel that we had. We are able to revise quite a number of guidelines. We are able to, to be able to publish our annual reports. Through these coordination meetings, the program was able to present its program priorities. I think one of the last coordination activities uh, was related with the dissemination of the prevalence survey, where we had to, to implement, uh, to pilot the development of the district action plans. Because of these interventions, several successes have been registered in the fight against TB. Under multi-drug resistant TB, three MDR TB treatment facilities increased to 15. MDR TB patient enrollment increased from 49 
to 1,519. MDR-TB cure rate from 64% to 69%. MDR-TB RT uptake improved from 91% to 92%. And MDR-TB CPT uptake from 91% to 95%. And the urban dots, treatment success rate increased from 69% to 86%. Cure rate in KCCA improved from 42% to 77%. Loss to follow-up reduced from 21% to 6%. CPT uptake increased from 93% to 99%. And art uptake from 52% to 92%. Facilities providing TB services in KCCA increased from 38 to 97 and DOTS from 6% to 92%.